All right, so next we're gonna talk about total cost of ownership, or what's commonly referred to in the IT circles as your TCO. What is TCO, what does it mean? Well, it, it means what it says it means. It's the total cost of ownership of equipment or gear or cloud services over the life cycle of it. So a lot of businesses use a TCO calculator to figure out, is it gonna make sense for me to move over into a cloud services solution? So first and foremost, all my sales partners out there, we have TCO calculators, they're available for you. They're on our partner portal. You've probably heard that a lot now, but go in and check them out. But what I wanna talk about today is the danger of the TCO calculator if you don't gather enough information. So when you look at going from a CapEx to an OpEx model, you wanna know what's my total cost of ownership here and what is it here? So this is where a lot of our, a lot of our sellers can get in trouble because when they go to gather the information from the customer, they say, okay, Mr. Customer, here's what I need to know. What's it gonna cost you for your hardware, right? These are all your servers, your SANs, your NASs, your firewalls, all that good stuff. How much is this, right? And then I also ask, what about that software? How much do you pay for that, right? Because that's gonna be a piece of it too. And then the most important question, what's the life cycle? How long is this gear gonna stay around? So traditionally, we found that in 2012, we, we generally had most companies holding their gear for five plus years, right? 2017, we see that it's between four and five years, so it's gone down a little bit. The reality is, if I just get this piece of the equation, guys, my total cost of ownership analysis is gonna fail. I need a lot more stuff. I'm gonna need labor cost, most important. I need to know how much they're spending in the physical environment versus the virtual environment if they come with us. And this is both internal, so this means their on-site staff and external. The reason we need external is a lot of customers buy solutions from VARs, value-added resellers. And the VARs are doing a lot of the implementation, a lot of the setup. They're not only selling them the equipment, they're providing a service as well. So this is equipment plus service. If I don't have these pieces of the puzzle, I'm really in trouble. Now, just to kind of round it out for you, you also need their power, bandwidth, and real estate. So are they in a colo? We need all of these costs, because if we go to a cloud model and we go to an as-a-service model, all of these pieces of the puzzle are part of the as-a-service. If you just get this information, you're going to be in a real, real tough spot. One more thing. Don't forget about the warranty on the gear. Right? If I'm buying my own physical hardware and that hardware dies or fails, I have to go replace it. If I'm in a cloud solution, all the hardware is on the cloud provider. So I never have to worry about a hardware failure or motherboard frying or anything like that again. So a little bit on total cost of ownership. Really hope this helps you out. Remember, we have the calculators. Go see the uh, partner portal. Thank you.